Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Haro Hobby Gaming and in this episode of If It Goes we are gonna review one of Faction Cruiser from Gurista's Pirate and this is the Gila yes, this is the Gila um, from the skill tree look at that this is below the rattlesnakes and the rattlesnakes I have already reviewed that ship and I'm not really in impressed with that snake maybe because I'm wrong built it but I'm gonna try to build the gila with correct or maybe good fit so this is it the gila okay and if you already know the gurista spirits have excels at using drones and they are very expert at using drones they say and they have specialty for shield defense and now let's take a look at the trade and bonuses for this ship yes this is the appearances of the gila um, this is based from Caldari Moa, but it is more handsome for this Gila. <laughs> yes, the the color and the scheme is very very nice. Okay, now the trade description: Gila Cruiser. For the first bonuses was advanced medium drone operation, so we can get plus 10 percent medium drone damage and up to plus 50 percent medium drone damage if we got advanced medium drone operation to level 5 and plus 4 kilometers drone control range if we got advanced medium drone operation level 5 we can get bonus plus 20 kilometers drone control range and for advanced cruiser command bonus we got plus 10 percent missiles or torpedo kinetic damage so it these bonuses add to your missiles status damage plus 10 percent and up to 50 percent if you can get your advanced cruiser command to level 5 it seems about plus 10 percent missiles or torpedo thermal damage so it likes at more thermal and kinetic and because it was thermal and kinetic it likes railgun damage basis so it got plus 550 percent missile or torpedo kinetic damage and plus 50 percent missile or torpedo thermal damage and plus four percent shield resistant this is nice you can get max about plus 20 percent shield resistant so um, if i can say this gorista's pirates is i have a high defense and a high attack look at that roll bonus i forget to mention the roll bonus this is the speciality from Gurista's Pirates. Plus 200% drone damage. It is drone damage, medium drone damage. So it is not a DPS, but drone damage. So it added your damage drone. I mean the status. If you use Hammerhead, it add thermal damage to your drone. And plus 200% medium drone EHP. Okay. So, um, this is damage, not the DPS. So, it not upgrade your activation time for drones. Now, let's go to attributes. Gila, power grid output 664 megawatt. He can use two medium drones for mega for modules weapon three middle slots five low slots 
three combat rigs and three navigation rigs. The cargo hold capacity was 880 meter cubics. And let's take a look at our defense. Our defense numbers was 19,788. You can look because it is based on Galdari. You can see the shield was very, very high from the other stats. So our shield base was 6,761. Armor just about 4,000. It's almost 5,000 and the structure at 5,000 too. And our base defense for shield, electromagnetic 0, thermal 28, kinetic 40% and explosion 50%. Okay, now our capacitor was 3666 gigajoules. Our capacitor recharges at 600 seconds. It is not very nice um, because maybe the caldari doesn't have a good capacitor recharge rate, not like the Amar one okay now let's take a look at the max lock target we can lock seven targets at once and our sensor strength was 23.9 our flight velocity 260 it almost equal with moa okay nice now let's see what fitting we are building right now Okay, this is the brawling fit and later we are gonna try Maybe the long range one we are gonna Trying our maximum range with drone, but now we are gonna Try with brawling fit For brawling fit we are using a Pitum C type medium rapid missile launcher Ah, you can see this damage type for thermal and kinetic is upgraded by about 50 damage because of our bonuses and activation time about 5.46 second explosion velocity 170 ms and explosion radius 77 eh. 27.55 meters so um, what i like about medium rapid missile launchers he can damage any type of enemies because of the explosion radius it have and missiles range at 21.04 kilometers okay we got four of these medium rapid missile launchers and for the middle slots um, always use a lay target painter so it will adjust your enemy signature radius and this optimal range was very nice okay predator stasis will be fire always needed and predator bob scramble always needed and for the drones yes you can look at that mk7 hammerhead the damage type for this mk7 hammerhead was upgraded to 632 that's very crazy and our this drone activation time was at 3.12 seconds so it will shoot at 3.12 seconds and our drone control range was about 55 kilometers okay now for the defense area low slots outlaw large shield booster um <clears throat> why i use the large shield booster because if you use the medium um it is it will not depleted your capacitor very fast but the shield boost amount was small too so we don't need to turn on always turn on our large shield booster 
but it's just one and by one and by one until our shield was full. It is about capacitor management. The next was custom C type medium micro warp drive and always use battery custom C type medium capacitor battery. So for cruiser just use medium one. And this is the PC type adaptive invulnerability field. So it will add to your shield damage resistance about 36.49% to all of damage type. But if you see this damage shield resistance 36.49, this is not fully added to your defense status, but it will be cut like let's try. Turn one. Okay. Nah. For EM resistance, because of our bonuses is at twenty percent, so it cuts about six percent for EM resistance. So it will not fully applic applicable to your resistance, but it will be cut. Now let's take a look. If we turn on the other adaptive shield, look at that, our defense up again to 47,000. And let's take a look at the resistance. Nah, before our EM resistance was at 49%, now upgraded to 65%. It cuts again. So it is not fully 36%, but it's just about 16%. Yes, it's just like that. So it will not fully upgrade your resistance to full. Because if it is not penalty or penalized, you will have a full resistance to all and it will be to offer power. Okay, that is for the explanation explanation for defensive capabilities. And now let's try for the combat demonstration of brawling mode. We got that's nine mission here and let's swap to zero. Turn on your shield and auto orbit target is okay. Click. Okay. Let's take a look at our drone's damage. Mm -hmm. Our missiles was okay, so it's not very good to damage the battleships, but we will try to damage the manticore. Let's try with this manticore. Boom. Okay, so mm, I think the damage of the missile rapid missile launcher was not very much. 
it is downgraded by about 20% for every aspect of it. Oh, I forgot. Um, <clears throat> for the rigs, yes. Sorry, sorry. For the rigs, we have bay loading accelerator. This is to adjust our activation time for the missiles by minus twelve point five percent, and this is to adjust our activation time for drones. Minus 12.5% for drone. I got two of them. So, because our damage was upgraded drastically by the roll bonus of the Guristas faction cruisers, so we need to adjust the activation time. And for the navigation slot, we got inertia modifier adjustment. This is for nimbleness of your ships. And this is the capacitor control circuit two times. Okay, that's it. Okay, so our drones damage was set at about 200, it's only 200, 400, 500, 500, 200 again, 400, mm, okay, so it's not very effective again. The battleships. Okay, we are gonna try this build for for the first wave, and for the second wave, we are gonna try the other build. So the damage was not very high with this rolling build, but our defense was max. But against cruiser, our the damage was about the same. Okay. Let's try with Torpedo and the Missiles Launchers. Okay, now let's try with another build. And here we go. We are gonna test the second build. This is still the brawling build, but I changed the weapon models with the torpedo. And our DPS status is upgraded to 942.50. So mm, the DPS with torpedo is more higher, but we will know after we trying with the second wave of this of this combat so 
This is the stats of the torpedo launcher. Pitum C type medium torpedo launcher. Our damage type was more higher than the missiles rapid launcher. Our activation time was uh, something equal with the missiles rapid launchers, but the explosion radius were was more higher and our missiles range was more shorter than that missile rapid launcher okay now let's try with the second wave of <clears throat> the battle Wop. let's set our orbit at 8 kilometers, I think it's okay. Okay, this is the second wave. Now let's see. Okay. Let's go with that Manticore first. Shoo! Plum, 800. So it's more higher than that missile's rapid launchers. What? So, mm, now the missile repeat Rapid launcher is so underpowered. I think so. It's not very very nice to use the missile rapid launcher. I don't know the developers nerf that weapon so bad. Okay, one hundred and one thousand and four hundred. Okay, nice. Now let's try with cruisers. Two thousand, nice. Okay. So you can see our shield was rapidly increased if we use the large medium, uh, I mean the large shield booster. So it will be very nice if we have large shield booster. Okay, 2,000, two battleships, I think that's nice. So, mm, okay, it is... Two thousand every six seconds. Hmm. Okay, nice. So we will try to change to the third build for this Gila, and that was the missile launcher. 
the long, long range one and we will try with that build for the third wave Okay, nice. Plum. So mm, for Gila, I think we must play with close range or maybe the optimal range of these missiles because we don't have, I mean the Gurista's pirate ship don't have bonuses for don't have bonuses for missile trains so we don't need to push the range of our missile launchers okay now let's try for the next build of missile launchers okay and this is the last build of our gila and this is I change the a few of this module and let's see how it comes. So for the hack slot, I change the torpedo with the Pitum C type medium missiles launchers. For the looks of it, it got more damage and but it have more activation time and you can look at that our damage type was upgraded maybe about second two times from the torpedo and our activation time up to two times two from the torpedo we got 10.5 second for activation time but look at our missile range it upgraded to 46.77 kilometers it just um, from our skill base and for these two modules so if you want to upgrade the missiles range you must upgrade with these modules hook missile guidance computer so you look at the missile guidance computer and you look at the flight time bonus because if you don't know before this flight time bonus is upgrade your the function of flight time bonus is to upgrade your missiles range so for this hook missile guidance computer it upgrade your flight time by 17.19 percent and will be upgraded by 500 percent if we turn on this missile guidance computer okay so mm, before we go to combat demonstration i think the garistas pirates faction ship is very hard to build maybe because they are hybrid for missiles and drones 
for the drones itself it use a lot of sp and plus the missiles we must upgrade too so let's take a look what we must upgrade for drones and missiles look at that that medium drone it got medium drone operation it got medium drone operation advanced expert medium drone upgrade advanced medium drone upgrade and expert medium drone upgrade and you must turn this on to this drone upgrade but if you are using gila and you want to brawl not the long range one you don't need to upgrade this drone advanced drone and expert drone because this will not be very effective this drone is to upgrade your drone control number and drone control range so if you want to brawl your way you don't need to upgrade this drone okay now let's try to combat demonstration with this boot let's try to look at our missiles range it is this 46.77 so let's set our approach at 44 and our orbit at 44 too nice let's go Up at forty seven. Because we are at middle range and we are fighting a battleship, we need to have uh, some defense operation. So we are still bringing our shield booster and battery okay now let's take a look which one is closer to us or oh, this one How much damage? What? It's a seven hundred. Okay. We will try with other ships. This is Mandicore. Oh and i changed one of my modules too that is the micro up drive i'm changing to after burner so we will try to orbit the enemies with high speed okay we are on 44 kilometers Okay, nice. 1300 damage. Boom. Okay, nice. For this layer, we are damaging about two thousand and three hundred. Okay, nice. Let's try the cruiser.
3000 damage okay nice Three thousand and one hundred. Okay, it's good. So with speed like this, um, I mean with orbiting style like this, we don't need to worry about our shield depleted very fast and it's nice okay now um, i don't know why my drone don't want to auto attacking the enemies it must be manual attack okay nice Now, if we turn on our modules, we can hit from 86.29 kilometers, which is nice. Boom. 3,100. It's stable with that damage. Okay. Hmm. I think this is the best build for Gila right now. With if you want to PVE or I mean to story and running or rating or encounter, you will you want to try with this build. I think it is nice. The stable damage and the enemy. You are not getting hit very often and you still have defense that's nice let's try with the scorpion okay three thousand and one hundred two so our, our defense is very stable at that number. <laughs> Someone said that is the boring point for using the missiles. Maybe that's that's true, but the missiles have their negative and positive point. The positive point, I mean the 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 plus point from your missiles is they never miss they just hit and hit but they don't have maybe they they have critical chance but very very low critical chance they just hits 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 100 hits and never smash or penetrates And they just they, the missiles just have one kind of damage three thousand and one hundred. That's the stable point with the missiles launchers. Whoa, one of our 
drones is wrecked enemy it got damage to 1200 okay okay nice Okay, which one is getting close to us? Okay, this one. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we got our guidance disrupted. This is missiles, radius missiles for our weapon, and it's not good. Blackbird and the Scorpion. Okay. We will kill that two first. So if you are running missiles, maybe you want to avoid gathering enemies. Because it will make your missiles very weak. Okay, this one. Boom. Okay, nice. So what do you think of this killer? Um, is this ship is underrated or overpowered? Please comment. Um, I want to know your opinion. For PV, of course. Um, I think this Zilla is not fitted for PVE. 
because the Gurista's faction pirates don't have any bonuses for maybe like the web, the web speed, or maybe the disruptor. I think this gila is fully fitted for PVE. Okay, nice. Boom. Okay, now maybe we will try to look at the bomb, bomb frigate. Okay, for this throne, mm -hmm. yes, they don't have any PVE. I mean, any PVE. Ah, I mean, sorry, PVP bonuses like the others faction so they just focus on drone and the damage and silk also okay So, what's the next ship? 
I will be review. Maybe you want to request, and you can comment to our comment section at our YouTube channel, or maybe our video, and just tell us what ship do you want to be reviewed, or maybe already reviewed ship but with different build. You can request too. I will happily to build it for you. And for the next, I will build the nightmare. Um, that's the only battleships faction. I don't. I still don't have time to refute it because maybe the, that is the guardian battleships. And let's take a sneak peek at that nightmare. Ships, battleships, nightmare. This one. Nightmare battleships. Or bonus can fit shield field modules. So this is like a guardian modules. Oh advanced large slasher operation bonus. It got plus bonuses to large slasher damage and large slasher tracking speed. Okay, this is crazy. Advanced Battleship Command bonus per level plus 30% after burner velocity bonus. Ooh, okay, so we can get maximum plus 150% after burner velocity bonus. Blah. That's crazy. Okay. Um, so I think this can be built with bro okay what seven low slots so okay we can maximize the defenses with the nightmare it's very nightmare i think and there is two battleships who are not implemented yet at our live server that is nestor okay so the next door was okay nice the next door was hybrid battleships she can repair and she can do drone damage okay nice she have four large drone ship i mean large drone slot and four repair slot okay nice and let's take a look at the Vargas, the Mordus Legion. Okay, 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 okay. This is crazy. Maybe this is the farthest missile ship available because the large missile launcher itself it have about eight the base for 80 base kilometers for weapon base plus skills and after upgraded with flight time it may be up to about 100 and so and someone said it can reach 210 kilometers for cold status so that's very crazy. The Bargos. Maybe that's the most of our power missile ship for now. <laughs> and the battleship I haven't reviewed is the Raven. And Raven Striker, this is that stand. Uh, the both of them is that stand. Okay. Oh, activation time. What about the Raven Striker? It's almost the same, but the Raven Striker have special mod seats. And the Milestorm and Milestorm Striker. And the Megatron, Megatron strike. Okay. 
maybe after a nightmare i will try to do the time bus or the mile stop okay okay we are almost done with this wave and for action cruiser i mean for the cruiser class versus test 9 this is very nice ship to have Mm, the most expensive from these models was the missiles launchers. On the lift server, if I'm not wrong, the prices of the missiles launchers, one is at about 80 million CSK. So with four missiles launcher, we are already spent about 320 million ESK. And the others is more cheaper than that. So it is very affordable, this build. And it is not impossible to build like this. Okay, nice. We are done with this combat demonstration. Okay, and then now once again, what do you think about this killer? Mm, for personal taste, I very like the Gila because it was resembled Moa, my first YouTube ship. <laughs> uh, but it is more handsome than Moa because of the military scheme on it. Okay, nice. Yes, I like this book, Gila. Okay, and that's it. This is the finish of this video. And thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please like and comment. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to support our feed, our channel. <clears throat> and see you at the next video of If Echoes. Bye bye.